What up guys? Excuse my greasy neck beard, I'm growing it out in case shit hits the fan and I need to blend in. Who do you think will be robbed first if shit starts going crazy? The rich people. So just like they disguise themselves in Shaun of the Dead against those zombies, I am going for the same strategy. Hey guys, it's Jack Tenney here with the Juke Squad again, here to keep you safe. First, we're gonna start with some simple tips for you guys. Number one, keep your hands clean. Number two, don't shake hands. Go with some fist bumps. Number three, wash your hands after you're out in public places. For one, I for one hate grabbing doorknobs, gas pumps, anything that's frequently touched by the public, I completely avoid. Maybe I'm the idiot for playing it safe, but I did use gloves at the gas pump today, and I'm not ashamed of that. I had pneumonia at one point, so I have to be extra cautious and make sure that I don't catch this, because apparently if you've had any other respiratory infection in the past, this disease can affect you a lot worse. In case you didn't know, coronavirus directly affects your lungs and can cause permanent lung damage. So be sure to exercise, be sure to get winded, whether it's jumping on a trampoline, running, riding a bike, jogging in place, doing push-ups, anything. If you can get those lungs open up, you know, keep your shoulders up just to get that good circulation in your lungs and to get them, you know, active. It could be very helpful for you and it could actually legitimately save your life. Young people don't really have to worry, but that doesn't mean go out and go to bars and go to the beaches. All right, pause. Sorry. Right, I just wanted to touch on this again so that no one is confused. Young people are less likely to pass away if they contract coronavirus. But if you have any pre-existing health conditions that affect your lungs in any way, you could get very sick. And more importantly, just because you have a less chance of passing away does not mean that the people around you do. You have to realize that it's not just about you anymore. You are putting other people at risk by putting yourself at risk. The risk is lower for you, but if you have a grandma or a parent at home that's older and you get sick, you have to consider the fact that that could potentially be because of you. Another huge thing to consider is, yeah, this sickness might not be that fatal if you can get the proper health care that you need, but if literally millions of people are sick, they're gonna have to just start turning people down. They're already doing it in Italy. And something that absolutely blew my mind, which probably will be the title and thumbnail of this video, is the fact that the news is lying and that they're saying you should go get tested and to go get tested. And the president even said to go get tested, but one of the biggest hospitals near where I live, I know this for a fact because one of my really good friend's moms is a nurse, said that they don't have coronavirus tests, that the government only sent them 10. So not only are they not testing people, they don't they don't even have the ability to test people because the tests are so expensive and because there's so few of them. So the percentages that we're reading online, like, oh, only 30,000 people are, are sick and, you know, however many thousand have died, that is not accurate because they are not letting the average person get tested. They're only letting people with severe, severe illness get tested. And sometimes even if you have a severe illness, they won't test you because they don't have the tests. So there's a lot of misinformation going around. I got that from the inside. That is is a fact. Hospitals do not have coronavirus tests for the general public. Young people don't really have to worry, but that doesn't mean go out and go to bars and go to the beaches unless you know you're a bitty and you want to come to the beach outside my house. Oh, you feel me? Uh, give me corona now. Why not? Uh, it's a joke, guys. So I really wanted to touch back on how much hate Florida has been getting, especially Clearwater Beach. Now I've spoken to dozens, if not thousands of locals about this situation. I've seen posts on Facebook, on Twitter, Florida is getting absolutely ripped to pieces, but every single Floridian I know does not go to Clearwater Beach for any reason, unless they work there. If you're a local, you know of way better, way cooler, way more secluded beaches than Clearwater. I cannot even stress to you enough how clear it is to locals and people who live in Florida to not go to Clearwater Beach. We don't do it unless it's like the weekend and we want to go to a bar on the beach, but we don't go to Clearwater Beach to go to the beach. It's crazy that I have to explain this, but I, I just need to... Not everyone lives in Florida, Jack. Clearwater Beach is for tourists, meaning you. This is your fault. Yes, you, the ones on Florida, are the ones who are the vacationing here. So instead of getting mad at the smart people who live here, why don't you get mad at Bill and Brittany and Frank and all the people who are going on vacation and spring break during a pandemonium, pandemic. Word is that the beaches will close on Monday. Monday, after the weekend. I'm filming this on Thursday. I'm uploading it on Thursday. God, that deserves a like, if anything. Filming and uploading in one day. And editing. All this guy. 
drop a like, show some support, or buy my merch. I don't know, whatever. There's an emergency meeting going on in Clearwater Beach today. The city commissioners and the mayor are there. We will see how that goes. I'll give you guys more updates on that tomorrow. Or if you want to check my Instagram and Twitter, we'll have the updates there as well. If you want me to prove the fact that they are all touristy kooks and that it's not anyone who actually lives in Florida's fault, I will gear up and I will go to Clearwater Beach to interview people and I will only ask one question. Where are you from? And then I'll play a reel of all of their answers. And I could put a lot of money on the fact that almost none of them will be from Florida. And if they are from Florida, they're kooks that moved out of state and moved here to Florida. I was born and raised here in Florida, okay? You are not from Florida if you've lived here for three years, okay? With that being said, I know what you're thinking. Jack, wouldn't it be very dangerous to go out in the thick of coronavirus and to interview people for the sake of Florida's reputation? I say yes, that is a terrible, terrible, very irresponsible idea. But... If it means saving Florida's reputation, I will step forward and I will risk my safety. Wait, shit. Maybe I... I don't know. We'll see. Uh, maybe I'll order more hazmat suits. I don't know. That's up to you guys in the comments. Um, you know, because I feel partially responsible. If you've ever vacationed to Clearwater Beach, Florida because of our videos, please comment down below. I would love to hear it. Because we don't get enough respect around Clearwater Beach. And I know for a fact we bring that place a lot of business. Anyways, you want to see how Florida is staying safe? I will show you. Oh my god! Look at that! Oh. Woo! Come on, get her up, son! Oh! Oh! oh. You see this? Look, Floridians. Taurus. A lot of people here in the water. Floridians. Taurus. Floridians. If I get corona, I get corona. At the end of the day, I'm not gonna let it stop me from partying. You know. How could you get that mixed up? How could you get that wrong? Anyways, this is just a quick update. It's kind of ridiculous around here. There's actually two local bars that are staying open and have been absolutely packed every single day, and I do not agree with that at all. I'll go drive by tonight to see if it's still like that and maybe to get some footage for you guys. If you want more updates, extra updates, follow me on Instagram. Be sure to subscribe, turn your notifications on, and uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna try to do daily updates. Everybody was getting mad at me because I said 95% of what I drink is water, even though I do Bang sponsorships in every single video. And yes, the other 5% is Bang Energy. This video is not sponsored, however, because there's a two-day waiting period on getting videos approved, and um, I'm not going to wait that long to get you guys updates. So I'm going to miss out on a lot of money for you guys because I don't want to have to wait until Monday to post this video. So it's all good. It's all gravy. Love you guys. Thank you. And I will see you tomorrow for another Update you beautiful people. Last night was just a cloudy dream, and my wallet's hanging out of my jeans, missing cream.